Previously on Imperion Galactic Survival. Oh, Should we go to the ship that then. we died at before? I forget what the name is. I don't remember which one that was, but I think there's another one over here that's an easier one. Okay. Is that the one that's story bound, mission based? No, this one over here is, it's just, uh, you know that long one with the hanger in the middle? Uh, trying to get the back of the ship down on the back that ass up. Thing. If we core this, could we just keep it? Uh, it it's actually a base, not a capital vessel. So yes, but it wouldn't fly. Okay. Went open. Careful. There could be aliens about. I see green goo everywhere. There food. is gravity. We could turn the gravity off. <laughs> Oh, the switch here turns it off? Yeah, yeah. That, that switch there turns the gravity on and off. That'll confuse the critters. Where are you, critter critters? I'll be upset if they don't spawn in at all. I'm going upstairs. I don't, know, I don't see spawners unless they're the block type. I believe they are the invisible type. Found a core. Yeah, it looks like they uh, failed to spawn in. Either that or they spawned in and then died. Lack of oxygen. Yeah, I don't even hear them. Usually just start hearing them. Yeah, I know. Wrong faction for the O2 generator. Yeah. We You got a core to throw down? Uh it's probably still on the ship. So uh, we can head for it. What uh box did you put it in? I got it. Okay. Hey. It still says other faction for me. You gotta, you gotta change the faction. Even though it was. Okay. Yeah. How much oxygen is left on it? Oh wow. Uh, a ton. Oh, five percent. Well, you took some, I guess. Uh, there's ten oxygen bottles that I pulled out nice. of it. Nice. There's 112 awesome. oxygen left in the tank, so we can use that uh, as we're taking things apart. Don't take apart the generators or fuel tanks. Everything else we can salvage. Um, leave the gen the the gravity gen intact. The what? So we can lock oh yeah, leave the grab gen generator. Ratatouille. All right, there's a generator Two. over here. Found milk. Nice. Milk and cheese. Two milks and a cheese. Okay, I'm gonna go up front and see what's here. I think there's a constructor in here somewhere. There's the fuel tank we want to leave. Advanced constructor, hot dang. Now we already have one, so uh, you want to take this one apart for parts? Oh, we do? 
Yeah, remember huh. you grabbed one and we got one fully intact? What's we got? Here's another Need O2 some... station. I'm going to leave the one in the back and we're going to pull this one up. Okay, there's another fridge. Milk. Oh, you got milk. it. Leche? Leche. Magnesium. Just one thing of magnesium. So I could grab the RCSs maybe. They're in the back I saw. I kind of want to turn this into our own base so we can actually build stuff and have oxygen. We just have to seal it up. I'm not rely too much on the the Aurelian. Yeah. Um, we could do that if you wanted. I order it, make it so. In that case, let's leave this advanced constructor in here. Mm hmm. I will take, oh, it looks like you took out the RCSs. Yeah, I took out the RCSs. We can take out the thrusters. Is that oxygen station still back there? No, I already pulled the oxygen station from back here up. But we can always put down another one. Yeah. I'm just grabbing deco stuff. Uh, there's a shower and a toilet. Oh, there's more of these things here. Ooh, fusion cell. Yeah, we could turn this into our own base. Yeah, I think we need to do that. Okay, we don't... Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just use the fridges on, on the SV. Because all that food I got. Okay, I'm gonna start pulling things up in full blocks. Since yeah, I've been picking up like the yeah, I've been picking up some things that I know that we'll need. The doors aren't making sounds anymore. That's weird. Yeah, the that's a problem that sometimes happens. I think it's because there's another sound playing and it gets confused. Yeah, the the it ha I think it happens with the radiation. Why can I not fit it in here? Okay. Oh, the glass. Okay, I moved the oxygen station up here next to the the health thing and the constructor so I'm gonna salvage all these deco items uh yeah when it comes to the thrusters I'm grabbing them for parts uh leave the turrets on it because we can actually use these turrets even though they're uh, capital vessel turrets, they will still function on a base. Yeah. Because um, we won't be able to put them back on. I'm turning them off for now because uh, they're using power that doesn't need to be used. Do but, we uh, start our own garden? Probably should. There should already be garden stuff in here, shouldn't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is. I should have taken down those fridges then. Oops. Did I keep any of them? No, I just... Yeah, we, I we, we can rebuild fridges. That's no problem. I'm going ahead and turning off all the thrusters since they do nothing except use power.
Yeah, there, you want to pick, there are pick, apparently you want to... two NPC spawner thin plates, but... You're salvaging the thrusters that are on here, right? Yes. Oh, I'm not linked to anything. Because the thrusters are more valuable as parts for us right now. We're probably going to want to end up taking the small vessel as our main means of transportation until we can get a larger capital vessel that can hold the small vessel in it. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about making the base look pretty since it's only going to be a temporary base. Yeah, we just need to seal it off. Yeah. And really, we just need to seal off the front part. Yeah, because the back part isn't really that important. Dude, what's up here? Oh, the bridge. Well, actually, if we're going to have the gardens in the back part, then we are going to want to uh, seal it off. Cause or we can move it forward. We can we can pick up the, the, the girl plots. We could move it to the middle and then seal off some of the middle. Uh, or just... There's a lot of room in the front. I'm just gonna grab some blocks so we can seal up the front. Yeah, that would probably be easier. There is one problem though. We would need to constantly up, update it with oxygen to get plants to grow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. We could not even worry about sealing this off and just build it back as a base. And then, I mean, the, the Aurelian would be our primary location, I guess, because it has oxygen. Right. But the problem with using the Aurelian is we can't use an advanced constructor. Right. Which is why I'm saying we know help. Oh, I got radiation burn. Let me go uh, shower and use a radiation thing. There's a shower in here? Yep, there's one right up here. Sounds like you're having a tinkle. Okay, um, so yeah, I say we keep this base as a base, keep the oxygen station, the oxygen tanks, just in case, but um, but don't really worry about repairing it or anything. Just keep it and use it as the advanced constructor and then go back to the Aurelian when we need oxygen. We need... Um... And containers I, for the constructor right and i would say only use like only only use this base when we say oh we need something that can only be made in an advanced constructor right that'll save us time from having to seal it off and try to make it into a base and then realizing we don't okay. have oxygen so yeah, I don't want to waste the oxygen. In that case, it's probably just grab all these oxygen. The ventilator. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, so I was telling you about I was planning on putting an oxygen. I. Uh, uh, what call it? An oxygen, basically an oxygen depot in here. The uh, the thing is, since it's a Polaris base, 
if you attack it, then you won't be able to uh, trade. Trade. You'll be, you know, but you can go to the trade station, get the code, open it, and get free oxygen from it. I mean, free refills for your for your for your uh, suits, yeah, or just for your suit, okay. Yeah, but you can't grab any. Right, but you know, the, at least it's something, you know. Um, I'm thinking about going ahead and pulling up these turrets since we can't, since we're not actually going to be using it very much. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I want to retrieve them because we will have a capital vessel eventually. The problem is I don't think we have anywhere large enough to hold them. There are six more thrusters. Hmm. Let's see. How much do capital vessel turrets weigh? Uh, they are 800 SU. Uh, 1,000 SU and 400 SU. So the rockets are 1,000 SU. These are 800 SU. Yeah, we don't have nearly enough space. Let me see what we can do. Um, I'm going to move the stuff from the port. I'm going to move the stuff from the extra parts box that I've been using into the cargo bay, the port, port cargo, cargo bay, bay storage. Okay. And then use the extra parts box to pull up what I, uh, what, Plasma turrets and rocket turrets and stuff I can. Wasn't there a armor locker in here somewhere? I pulled it up. Okay. So our primary goal right now really needs to be getting away from here and finding a planet. And, uh... We've got enough pentaxid that we could do that if we uh, if we got a warp drive and a warp core tank up and running. Which that's okay. one thing I forgot to do with the uh, with the iron with the crushed stone we got. So yeah, we all made bullets and that was it. <clears throat> yeah, how dare you make bullets instead of letting me make a a. a warp drive thing. <laughs> Oops. It wants actual ingots, right? Of iron? Y yes, because it wants... that. That's what the uh, cobalt the, yeah, alloy the, needs the cobalt. is ingots. All that, yeah. Man, it's eight clicks away. Promethean. You see, I wish we could attach like a small, small vessel to our small vessel, you know, like, like, yeah, you know, so we could have like little personal motorcycle sized small vessels that we could get out of and go. Once we get a capital vessel, I think what I want to do, I want to make, I want to make it large enough that we can hold the, uh, the millennial Eagle in. But I also want it to be to have a couple of other small, smaller, smaller, you know, small vessels on it. Fighters. Basically, or small transports or something like that, you know. Yeah. Something smaller than the uh, sh fighter shuttles we had in our previous games, but something, you know, that's quick to get around in. Mini pods. Armored mini or armed mini pod. I wonder if so. You want an, a, a you want a CV SV no CV that will actually contain the Millennial Eagle completely inside. Yes. Do they even make cargo bay doors that big? Yes, but you have to fly in forward instead of like being able to lift up and down. I've already got one in the works in the oh, uh, okay. in, in the. Uh, 
workshop or the creative mode. Yeah. It's already been another hour. That was quick. Okay, I'm going to move all the stuff from the constructors things that we can. Okay, the port cargo bay storage is full. Eh. Okay. I don't know where you are. Are you in the Millennial Falcon? You Nope, I'm still trying to take up uh, blocks, uh, can the turrets. I've got one cannon oh, turret okay. left to pull up, and I think that's it. There's a couple on the bottom. That's oh, yeah, where, there you yeah, are. Yeah, that's where I'm pulling it up from. There might be another one over there that needs to be pulled up, too. No, I don't see one over here. Let me go back over here. But I think I got all the turrets. Yeah, it looks like you did. All right, there's still there, a few there thrusters. No there's there. still a few uh, thrusters left on here. Yeah, there's about seven of them. Oh, here's one. Uh-oh. Ran out of space. Inventory. Yeah, so I picked up what I got. It was just a motor. Okay, let's see. I think. Let me check the. Uh, yeah, that's all the thrusters are gone. I think that's everything okay. that's worth pulling up except the constructor, but we wanted to leave that in case we needed it. So. I'm going to go ahead, I'm turning off the power to this so that it doesn't waste the fuel and we'll, <laughs> Ooh, I slid. and we'll come back here when we, uh, when we need to utilize the, uh, constructor. All right, let's head to the Prometheum asteroid real quick, get some uh, more crushed stones so we can make the warp drive tank and everything. All right. And uh, how close am I? I'm, I'm not very close to level eight yet. Uh, leveling in this is really difficult. Another things to kill. Well, we can actually go, because we did have enough stuff to kill uh, in that other derelict ship, so... Uh-huh. I'm like a third into level seven. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go find that other derelict ship. Unless you want to go ahead to the, uh... The Regek and try to go into that. Maybe. Because, you know, that, that would be something that it's, uh... You know, it would be more interesting. It's a, you know, it's an actual storyline POI. And once we get a hold of that, we can go, you know, and there's a lot of good loot in it too. So. And then once we actually find a planet that we can actually set up a base on, uh, we can actually then actually fully start, you know, playing the game more, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there are planets in this game. Oh yes, oh yes, there are planets in this game. There are five of them. And they're all hostile and full of lava and no. acid rain. Only one of them is full of lava, another one's full of acid rain, another one's an ice planet, another one's owned by the Xerox, and another one has five times gravity. Oh dear. 
Oh, and the final one's not really a planet, but a giant uh, pentaxid asteroid that's uh, that's uh, got almost no gravity whatsoever. <laughs> so you can actually use your uh, thruster jet to, uh, to attain orbit. Like your uh, suit thruster. Okay, what should I link to? Oh, uh, constructor input. Link to the constructor okay. input. So one of the uh, starting locations on this in this game is actually the volcanic planet. And then you're dead. Well, no, you start in medium armor so you can withstand the temperatures, sort of. Uh, you still have to utilize a, uh, a, what do you call it, the, the heater cooler. Otherwise you will get overheated at times. Um, you have to but worry thing, about the your thing oxygen. That you drop on the ground. Yeah, you have to worry about your oxygen because there's no oxygen on the planet. There's radiation throughout the planet. Um, but if you get up into the mountains and like in the higher the altitude, the lower the temperature. So if you get up into the mountains, you'll get into actual uh, like tolerable temperatures. Up, oh, inventory's full. Nope, no, I was just looking at it, see how much we had. It's only 89. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, uh, what you want to do is you either want to head straight for high ground, uh, because there, and there's no water on there. So for oxygen, you actually have to use your, uh, emergency O2 water generator. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, once you get to higher ground, there's, uh, there's fiber plants you can pick, um, there aren't any trees on the planet, so that's your only source of fiber. Um, but I, I made sure that it was viable for Alpha, you know, eight, nine, all that. I have the moment the moment we land on any planet, I already have an emergency uh, O2 and water generator ready to go. That's good. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the planet that we link to. That, that this system links to is actually the only one with oxygen. So... So we need to generate more O2. Yeah, either... Actually, either it does have oxygen or it doesn't, but it looks like it would because the oxygen atmosphere is toxic. I forget which. Yeah, okay, it's full. Actually... Actually full, full. And so is my personal inventory. Yeah. yeah, I got 261 on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's head back to the base. Back to the Aurelian. Okay. Okay, Aurelian is this direction. For the record, X is the shield activate deactivate button. You hear me? Yeah. 
I forgot the key on. It's yeah, it's X. So Okay. That way you you know, when you're flying you don't always have to go to the control panel. You can just hit X and you know it will turn the shield on. But it still takes a while for it to charge up and turn on. Yes, but once it's fully charged, you can actually uh like once the shield is fully charged, you can turn it off, it'll maintain the charge, and then you can uh turn it on and it will uh it'll take like two, three seconds and then it'll be back up to its you know, it'll be on and fully charged. Okay. You just have to let it charge up the first time you do it. So that it consumes the pentaxes and all that. Right. And the thing is, it consumes pentaxid even while it's, uh, like, just to, just for running, I think. I'm not positive. It may just consume pentaxid when it's recharging. Okay, so this box over here is where I'm putting all the stuff uh, that are uh, capital vessel and base parts. 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 And it's almost full, but it's got the advanced constructor in there along with two pentaxid tanks and, you know, some fuel tanks and such. So the big pentaxid tanks, uh, CV tier, one. Uh, yes. They're just the tier two ones. Yeah. The one by two by one. Mm hmm. Okay, let us make a taxa tank for our ship. Let's go ahead and make a secondary fuel tank to put in there. And now we just need to get the level to make a warp drive because I believe... Where would warp drive... Right next to the Pentaxa tank for a uh, small vessel. Yeah, but I've already learned. I'm, I'm looking in the constructor. It doesn't show it in the constructor. Can that only be made in a... It says thing? large and advanced. Yeah, it says large and advanced. But there's like a three-point difference in levels, though. Well, yes, but it's the next tier that would unlock for it. Well, didn't he say that it was... That if the constructors will only show the very next level. Well, it's supposed to show the next tier, but you you mm. could be right. It could show. Then again, it might show only what you have that you can unlock and have not yet. Oh, okay. That's what it might be. Yeah, because it's three levels away from seven to ten. We need to kill stuff. Yes, yes, we do. But I think we Arctic need to save points. that for next week. Yep. I'll probably be picking plants throughout the week, though, so. Yeah, you'll, you'll, well, you're already ahead of me a little bit.
Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, and pass halfway. Okay, so I've got the uh, warp pentaxa tank and the fuel tank in. Um, our oxygen is down to 4%. Uh, only thing I need to add in here now, I believe, is the warp drive. Um, actually, I want to do one, two, three, four more fuel tanks because we do need more fuel. We we should have plenty of oxygen tanks on here. Oh, I filled the oxygen tanks. I must have had oxygen on me somehow. somehow. Yep. You did. You got. Didn't you get like ten of them off the? Oh yes, uh, yes I did. Yes I did. Ha ha. Okay, um, all right, so let's see, I want to make, four of those, all right, I'm one quarter away from, uh, level eight, yeah, nice, is that right? Yeah, about 20%. Okay, let's see. We we do ha we have a lot of pentacted, so we should be good to get to a planet and back if we needed to. Yes. Maybe we should consider being our first base being on a planet. By that That's what I was thinking. Once we find a planet, we're going to want to set up a, a, a more permanent base there. Because whether or not it has oxygen itself, I know the first planet we can get to has water. So... Uh, we've got a lot of constructor parts on the Millennial Eagle still in the uh, in this thing here. I think we should call it in a pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, I think it's about time that we uh, go ahead and call it an episode. So uh, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. Let's take a shower together. <laughs> I just did. I went before you did. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button for us. And uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know It All DM. I'm Fragalot. And as always... Y'all have a good day now. <laughs>